when you design a form, some forms are designed purely as forms that can be filled in and then printed or faxed or uh, saved. But very often forms need to um, present their data to some sort of back-end system uh, that is developed by programmers and they often want the data to come in in a well-defined and, and structured format. So Lifecycle already uses the concept of um, XML as the data storage mechanism and um, in order to structure the definition of how that how the, da the data is structured uh, we use a technology called XML schema and all of this is built into Adobe. However defining a, an XML schema requires uh, a, a little bit of knowledge about how XML schema works as well as the use of um, of third-party tools for actually defining that schema or uh, or uh, a, a lot of knowledge about how to do that in a text editor. Uh, and in the interest of simplicity and productivity, um, uh, Composer has got all of the data binding tools that you need built directly into Composer. So if I click on a particular field um, in, the for, in a form um, and click on the data tab, um, there are just two values that I need to specify. Uh, the binding type, which is either set to default or none. Uh, default means that I'll get a default XML schema binding, and none means that I don't want this field to appear in the data, I just want it to appear visually. And then the second thing I need to specify is the binding name. And the binding name is the name by which this element will be known in the uh, XML schema. Um, that is automatically defaulted for me based on whatever I typed in as the label, but it's converted into something that is compliant with XML schema element names. And that's all I need to do. Um, then when I go and um, uh, when, when I want to go and see the schema that uh, Composer has generated for me, I simply go to the Artifacts tab, and there you'll see a number of different things that uh, uh, um, Composer has built for me. One of them is the generated uh, data model schema which I can download and that looks like this in one of those third-party tools as you can see all the client details come through exactly as I defined it uh, including the account details and other details um, according to the structure of the form and uh, the bindings that I've specified. So that makes it really easy. Uh, we do plan in a um, very short while to um, add an additional form of data binding where you can bind to an existing schema, but this is the really simple binding that you get for free without having to do very much effort at all. We do two things with a generated XML schema. Firstly, as you've seen, uh, we do allow you to download that. You can hand that off to the IT department and say, this is the definition of the data that's going to be coming out of my form. The second thing that we do is we actually embed it into the generated PDF file. And that means that if you use that PDF file in a program that can introspect the PDF file, such as uh, Lifecycle Process Management, um, that means that the XPath uh, editor within Lifecycle Process Management is able to actually drill into the fields within the form and manipulate them directly without any extra effort from you. So uh, this makes it really easy to integrate your forms into, um, into either Adobe or third-party products.